Ten of Souls. Fixed everything up here. If he couldn't find that, of course, he does have it. He had to play a basic land, but we wanted to get an explanation there from a very qualified judge in Jared Silva yep. about what does happen. So right. now we're underway, and you see the one next to Michael's name. All right. I like elves in the matchup. <laughs> <laughs> now that it's up a game, <laughs> now, now a, game on, a game on the house, I'll take elves. Now it's up a game. You like elves here. <laughs> now keep in mind for game number two because there's a game loss, no sideboarding. But Wesley gets to be on the play if he so chooses. Correct, and he did choose to be on the play. It looks like we're gonna have a lightning bolt take care of the elves. Excuse me, the Lionel elves. Not an elvish mystic. Second time. They shouldn't do that. It should be one of the elves. Just keep it a Lanamore elf. I mean, when sometimes we go to Legacy, we have Finhorn elves yeah, floating it's around there crazy. too. Crazy. Elves of the deep shadow. Now, obviously, there's an Elvish Mystic and a Land of War Elves. Great. I can do this. I can do this. I can make it through this round. Razor Verge Thicket as well. A Lightning Bolt's going to take care of the Elvish Mystic. If you're Wesley, it's just pinpoint removal. Just click and shoot. Just yep. keep getting these Elves off the table because this is the definition of a critical mass deck. That's exactly what this Elves deck is. <laughs> Another Lightning Bolt, absolutely. Fire away. Now, the problem there, no land. And no third land is really bad news. He also has, I believe, drawn one of his blood boons, which is also not great. Another Elvish Mystic, another Land of War Elves, another passing of the turn. The blood moon is quite poor. Sleight of hand will be helpful, though. Let's take a look at a couple of cards. Stomping Ground is one. Spell Snare is number two. One card will go to the bottom here. Stomping Ground will enter the battlefield tapped, pass the turn back, see if the twin player can work towards executing the combo. But he's got the pieces. No land number four. He's underneath very much pressure, so that's good. Though this could pick up pretty quick here. There's Fauna Shaman. We don't see that one a ton. That's a one of, I guess, you. it's fine to draw, and there's some weird spots where you would cord for it. Might be okay to collect a company into that as well. Yep. And you can search for your other bullets, too. There's land number four. And passing of the turn. I, uh, I love not playing the land. That is really sneaky play there from Wesley. Yeah, but it's I just, love it. Michael's going to be sitting here thinking, what are the odds he can combo off? And that's going to depend on certain variables. Now he's thinking, well, he has to have the, the not only does he have to have one of the creatures and the twin, he has to have a fourth land. Mm -hmm. When you deploy it, Michael starts thinking it's more and more likely that, well, he might be able to combo this turn by concealing the land. It makes it seem very unlikely. And I think we're going to be going to game three here yeah, in a moment. I, I love not playing the land there. For all the reasons you mentioned, just if, if you get into a player's mind and you're playing as twin, even though there is a copy of Spell Sky, the thought process is certainly, and you need this, 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 and this to win. What are the chances that's going to happen? Pretty low. It's like, well, I have all of that already. I don't even need to draw a card. But Spell Sky is going to make things much more difficult now. Great card to get, get here. Here is Pestermite. Going to target the Spell Sky. It's time to untap and take a draw. Serum Visions. Now he's got to find a way to get Spell Sky off the table. So Fauna Shaman was much better than I think you and I thought. Time for Wesley to scry. Well, if you feel like the game's going to go on for a long time because of the spell sky, Fauna Shaman generates a lot of value. Here comes Pestermite. But this spell sky is very problematic for Wesley to get off the table. Uh, he's got one main deck copy of Roast, which is great here. One day main deck Cryptic Command, but we're pretty far away from that being castable. There's Blood Moon. Take that, Rage of Verge Thicket. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, the, I guess he might as well cast it, right? It's, he's doing nothing else, right? Yeah. It's not like he has cards like Tormenting Voice or Faithless Suiting in his deck. Can't take it with you. Yeah, <laughs> or a Brainstorm <laughs> to put it back and shuffle away. We're not in that format. Ha-ha! Shut down the Nick Oh, Ghost. nice. All right, pulling its weight. Elvish Champion and Azuri in hand. And really, the world is his oyster here because of Fonda Shaman. Yep. What would Michael Malone like to tutor up with Fauna Shaman? You know, the thing about Fauna Shaman, it's obviously compared to Survival of the Fittest, but there's a big difference between a creature and, and an enchantment. 
and being able to use survival multiple turns, multiple times a turn, and Fallen Shaman, you can't. I mean, Fallen Shaman is a very honest survival of the fittest. That said, if this card goes unchecked, it's very, very good. Yeah, it's not in Survival's League. Yeah. Don't, don't get it wrong, but uh, it's definitely going to have moments of being awesome. Missouri Renegade Leader was the play there from Malone, and he's setting up for a big turn. Unless they're going to take a look at just how much damage he might be taking here. Already down a game. There's Scalding Tarn. Can't sacrifice that because of Blood Moon being in play. That's not going to happen, my friend. It's going to be a mountain. That's the last thing that Wesley needs. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. It's been a tough couple I mean, of minutes for him. Yeah, I mean, this game's already in rough enough shape. Uh, has a Splinter Twin in hand. But he can't cast it because of that spell skite. Both cards going to go to the bottom. All you can do is pass the turn back. Would have loved to be able to sacrifice a Scalding Turn for an island so he could snap Caster Mage back a Serum Visions or a Sleight of Hand. Mm -hmm. I think that's the issue. There's a forest. That's land number five. Remember, Azuri only pumps elves. Now, there are plenty of elves to pump, but Spell Spike will not get any bigger. Here's Snapcaster Mage. Gonna target Lightning Bolt. He, Wesley essentially needs Michael to forget that there's a Spell Spike in play. Yeah, I have a feeling that's not gonna happen. Gonna redirect that way. It looks like everybody's coming into the red zone. Burp, 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 burp. And as anticlimactic as that may be, we still have a Grand Prix champion here <laughs> in Michael Malone. He gets the job done with Elves. It's a trophy all the same, my friends. Oh, absolutely. And there's a lot of enthusiasm coming from the gallery right now. Uh, uh, Michael, I believe, a Florida player. A lot of support in the crowd there. And uh, exciting win. Uh, obviously, we would have liked to see a two out of three set, but uh, still a Grand Prix champion nonetheless. And with a very cool deck, I'm sure the community will be very excited about. Yeah, and we're going to talk about this deck a little bit now, too, because coming into